Hi guys, how are you doing? It's your girl, or oh, I mean, it's Fajalu, aka Miss Fear Focal, aka Boldly Owami. Oh, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time joining me, you're most definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe um, and hit the bell so that you don't miss any video. Um, and yeah, make sure that you go subscribe to my main channel, which is Owami oh, Entertainment. Um, yeah, let's grow, guys. Like, I think it's time. Let's definitely do that. <laughs> But, um, oh man, I don't know why, but I feel a bit nervous for this video. So I know that I did keep you guys waiting. This video was supposed to come, I think, on Wednesday. Um, but it's coming out today, which is Friday, and I think that that's fine. I feel like I also had to gather myself um, before I actually make this video because I did not want to be emotional whatsoever. Um, I think that... Um, okay, for some of you guys that do not know, I'm Owami and I am divorced. My divorce finalized last year, February, um, like my freedom day. I think it's the 24th of Feb, if I'm not too mistaken. And so um, for me, honestly, I celebrate the ending of my marriage. It's just like there are certain things that happened. And of course, story times, you know, life experiences and things that I went through that I'm going to obviously talk about. And so I used to talk about this. I used to do the story times and then I stopped. And now I feel I'm at a, I'm at a place where I'm definitely going to pick it up and I'm going to do that. Hence, we are having this setup here, podcast style. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm still learning, but okay. Um, And so... Yeah, this week I did post a video of me and my ex-husband that I recorded like almost three years ago, guys, from 2020 September. And you guys know September is only next month. So it's almost three full years. I still cannot believe that it's been that long. You know, it's it's quite crazy. Like life really moves fast you know <laughs> and so some people were very much confused like hey why did you post the video of you and your ex there's so much that has happened online we've had so many fights um and so why would you post that so i'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying i did get a message from a ninja that was basically saying that hey wami um you know i just found out that my husband cheated again he's been like it's like he's a serial cheater and so she basically wants out of the marriage however she's asking to say she wants to do what i did where you know you plan your exit um before obviously you leave um so that you are at a point where you're financially okay you know you're emotionally okay um to can actually do the walk away um, and she was asking me, like, how did I do it, you know? And so I was like, I still have a video. Like, I'm someone that I keep almost everything, guys. Like, I've been like that. It's not even a matter of, oh, is the sentimental value or anything. Um, I really honestly just, I have so many files. I've got so many videos. Um, and I, I'm, I'm just someone that barely deletes anything, you know? So I, I remember that I actually still had this video and I was like, I think that a picture tells a thousand words, you know, like the video itself would speak like in terms of how I was acting and everything. And so I did post the video on my main channel, but I don't want you guys to do the up and down. So I think that if you already watched the video, you can go ahead and skip the part and go to the part where I actually explain what was going on. But what I'll do right now is that I am going to just react to the video because a lot of you guys asked me to do that. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just react to that video right now. I will actually minimize me and have the video playing as main and then I will just be maybe in a corner somewhere. Um, and so... <laughs> Obviously, you know, we gotta watch the ads, honey. Please watch the ads. <laughs> so I'm playing the video from my main channel and I'm gonna be watching it from my phone over here. Um, and so we are. I did watch it obviously when I was editing. And so I think that now it will be just that thing of, okay, I'm just watching it. So sharp. let's go ahead and start. Baby, you can see yourself, you're out. Hey guys! <sighs> Are you studying? No, I'm not. How are you guys doing? So, today. Like nicely, hey guys. 
Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So, um, it's your girl. Oh, I'm from morning today. I actually have hubby because. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Today's a very special day, you guys. It's our anniversary, nine years. Yeah. In Papin Place, me. It's our anniversary. Yeah. And we, it's nine full years. Wow, you, you sound like a gun is put on your head. What? What gun? <laughs> like, it's nine years. It's like, somebody come I didn't say nine me. years. I said nine full. That's what I'm years. saying. It's almost like you're like, can someone come save me? Like, wow. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we actually took a trip to Durban we're in derps right now and oh my gosh we're enjoying it if you guys can hear some noise it's because the ac is on we cannot be without it you guys like yeah, free state is very is so cold hot. so Durban is very hot for us so yeah, the ac has to be on guys because of free state <laughs> No, that's true. So when we're here, we feel like it's super extremely hot. Too much. Like it's way yeah. too hot. Like I'm someone that's constantly cold. It's but very, very hot. Yeah, it's too hot here. Like when we enter the car, we just always have to make sure the AC is blasting. <laughs> when we come to the hotel room, like the AC has to be blasting. But oh, today was a blasting. We did a lot today. Yeah, and we're so exhausted, guys. Yo. Too much. That's why the I'm energy is so actually down. Tired. I feel like my boobs are just out there for everyone to see. My button came out. Baby, I'm just not dream. Oh. But it I'm sounds so like it. Dreaming. So yeah, we woke up today and we went out. We got breakfast. Then we went and we swam and. Um, we came back prepared and actually had like a proper dinner today um, And it was really really nice. So today's Thursday uh, So which means that like we still have tomorrow we still have Saturday. We're gonna go back Sunday um, I don't think I've eaten actually I know for a fact I have not eaten as much seafood as I eat today Yeah, today she ate a lot guys she ate, you know. <laughs> For sure, maybe I'm not even hearing me much. Some of you will be like, Hey, Pika is talking so low. I'm tired. You understand? I'm very I'm laughing when he's saying I ate when I was eating. Where was he? Yeah, he, he, she ate so much. Seafood. Guys. So much. So yeah, much. no, today guys, I ate a lot. I don't know. She was missing it or something yeah i ate a lot of seafood I'm not today sure, I'm not sure, but it was really nice she ate so much yeah so yeah, yeah our energy is a bit low because obviously as i said we are super exhausted we arrived here last night around past let's say 11 at 11 so you it's should just past imagine 11, yeah you should just we imagine around quarter past 11 at, at night, night. And then yeah. we didn't really like sleep. And of course, I had to drive. <laughs> but I no. didn't sleep. I was also. With I you. drove. Yeah, it's fine, but I didn't sleep like I was. With I you. drove. And then when we arrived here, from Friday to. He made sure that we we're not sleeping. To Devon. Imagine. Oh. From where? Oh, I said it. No. Sunny? I'm not supposed to. You know. Oh yeah, that one she's gonna cut, guys. But from where we are until Devin. Oh, from where we are living until Devin. I forgot that. And then when we arrived, you made sure that we don't sleep. And then when we arrived, she made sure that we don't sleep. You're lying. We didn't sleep. Probably we slept what? Very past two past two so almost to three and then five i woke past, up half past three half past four half past five she woke up <laughs> we, we slept three hours no but we went Imagine. back to sleep again and woke up at what what time did we wake up we nine past nine i think to sleep again. yeah 
but i feel like now we're just rambling we just wanted to say we love you guys thank you so much for the support we actually met ninjas today but guys it was after swimming i was exhausted and when they saw me i was like ah i even hid my face a bit because i was like ah, yeah, i was sure, just sure so embarrassed it's just because and i don't like seeing you guys unprepared in terms of like just not looking my best like i'm from the ocean i have this towel on i look like an old woman and i think this is the one that constantly gives me away because yeah. people could not just see me you guys like the way i was looking but once they see him they're like that's big guy and that's all i mean and i'm like oh gosh but uh if my ninjas are watching uh i did greet them you guys but i was just trying to <laughs> so if you're watching please don't be offended or else i was just so exhausted i kept on falling in the ocean today like the whenever the the, the waves would hit my knees were so weak because of, i was so tired yeah. <laughs> she almost went with the water magic guys <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. At that place oh. <coughs> it's because I, i'm tired so even now you guys yeah. we actually want to just i have to take a shower and um we're gonna just you know i was thinking i'm gonna do my hair but i don't think that would be possible i actually really want to just sleep right now like i'm yeah, so tired maybe we can watch like a movie i know i won't be able to finish that so at and least it will be a way for me to fall asleep and then sleep you know guys <sighs> So yeah tired. i also wanna say guys i love you so much you know thank you so much for the support ninjas thank you you know for supporting of course yeah, yeah thank you so much guys. you guys do you guys realize like this is our anniversary like when and we met course, we were just kids in yeah, realizing Lisa. that it's our anniversary because we did say it guys but it's just it's that crazy it's like it's been that long uh, ever since we met in medusa ever since we started like this journey yeah. shibabo and then until now of course some of uh, of some of them of course they don't like we should be over here but by the grace we're here you know which them them the the what do you call them nunjus or something <laughs> yeah the nunjus yeah. you watch my channel way too much yeah the the ninjas and the nunjus so for ninjas thank you so much for support thank you for loving us and for nunjus i always say for nunjus i Guys, I feel like I this video is boring much. because of we're so tired. But yeah, we went but vlogging. But I'm sorry for boring, guys, because I'm so tired. No, we're both tired. We didn't vlog no, I'm, anything. I'm tired, um, guys. I, I think like this it's time. Not here, but I am tired. You know. This time also, you guys, like I just wanted us to just enjoy ourselves, so we didn't have the camera or anything yeah. like that, and it was so nice um we're not going to vlog or any of that we did we're doing a sit down obviously right now you guys get to see hubby's face yeah my face <laughs> bye guys we we do love you Ooh, okay so i did watch that obviously and um some of you guys that did not get to watch from the main channel then you guys got to watch the video um the comments under this video guys they were just crazy for me um reading them i was like what mubango the production of mubango can you guys just cast me because sorry clearly a hand is sleeping on her skills of acting you know i was quite shocked at the amount of of ninjas that were like oh my gosh i'm sure she misses him this this even nota commented and it was like cheating is not a re like reason enough for a marriage to end can't this be fixed and i'm like so where have you been you know <laughs> you hate me <laughs> someone was like he hates you because you lost this footage <laughs> you guys are funny but let me go ahead and explain to you guys what was happening so this was september right 
Um, I had found out that my ex was cheating on me April. And I think that one thing that I, I need to explain is that unlike most couples that whenever they find out that, you know, their spouse is cheating or anything, maybe like these people, they get into fights, you know, there are certain things that just do not make sense. And so like they get to a point where like now the other one cheats and the other one is going to be like, yeah, but we've been fighting all the time. You know, we're not having um sex like that. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. But my, in my case, guys, it was really just a shock. It was really a shock. I suspected nothing. I knew nothing. Um, it was like a, a literal heart attack. <laughs> when I found out that that nigga was cheating on me. Um, we, we were not fighting. Honestly, we were not. And I think that that's one of the things that made it very difficult. I remember there was a time that I even posted a clip of the night I found out, you know, because I found out through the phone. Um, we were literally sitting laughing. It was like everything was fine, you know. It was during lockdown, obviously, and so we were um home all the time, which I thank God for Corona because as much as I know it was horrible, guys. But if not for that, I don't think that I would have ever found out. And look at the fact that we we're in, on like in stages where we're now planning to have a child. For me, like it just leaves me mind boggled like how do you comfortably plan uh to have a child with someone that you literally hate you know so like from my ex-husband's side so yeah basically like just to give a bit of a background i had found out april so may april may june july august it was really a struggle like this four months for me were the worst i'm not even going to lie and so September, when we even went to Durban, this was after he had gone home, come back, gone home, come back. And so I, I'm not sure if I ever did that sort of time, but I think I did. Did I? No, I don't think I did yet. The time that he was coming back and like police even had to be called. It was this huge drama, guys. And then I asked Nikki to go in with my phone. And if you are an OG, you will remember this phone. Do you guys remember this phone? One thing about me, guys, I don't lose phones. This is my J4 Plus. So this is the phone that Snakey actually went in with. This is where the audio is actually in. And so when uh, he was coming back, I think that was June, if I'm not mistaken. Um, somewhere there, man, June, July, somewhere there, I think. Because he left, came back. Then he left again. I think the time he left again when I kicked him out. Um, he didn't stay like a week at home. He came back, you know, sorry. So when Snakey went in and recorded the audio, the audio came back, obviously, and it was like 40 something minutes. I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to it. Snake is talking. Hey, this is what was going on. Hey, nye, 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 nye. you know, she's talking and I'm like, okay. And so I think that because of at that time, I was still so naive guys. I was trust trusting Snakey who at that time wanted this ex-husband of mine which you know they could have just <laughs> taken each other they had a private relationship that i didn't even know guys um i didn't listen to the audio so i actually ended up listening to the audio i think it was the day before we actually had to go to durban right um yo guys listening to the audio was very difficult i think that the part that was very difficult was hearing his mother lie you know but even with the lies it was like have you guys seen like when the base is the truth and then the things that come on top like it's just complete lies that i was like where did he even she even get this and when she was talking mind you guys like there's like a group of people in that in that meeting there's the vice principal there's police there's like friends of this guy's it's because <laughs> so the things that were being said there guys you it was really honestly just heartbreaking because the mother was claiming that all this information came from him you know and i was like there are certain things that she's saying that she should not know because this is between him and i how did she know as much as there are lies on top but i would be able to perceive that no man there's like the truth in this and then there's lies on top which means he did say something it's either he only said the truth part and the mother is adding the lies or 
he actually is the one that actually lied about everything and then obviously the mother is now just saying it and if honestly like that is the case it makes sense why he would not dispute because he was completely quiet guys yo she was saying a lot of things how now as um you know, I'm the one that made her son become a thief. Hey, he has got criminal records now because of me. Hey, uh, now I told her son uh, to go steal. Yo, guys, a lot of things. I told him that, you know, he doesn't satisfy me in bed. Yo, guys, like so much, so much, so much, so much, right? So when I listened to that, yo, guys, I was so furious. I remember I called him. He was still at work. That was the day before we actually left. And was I not screaming, guys? I was shouting at him. Yo, guys, I was so hurt. I think we were like at that point, that was when I actually started to realize that, oh my gosh, like it's not just a matter of this man is cheating on me. This man literally hates me, you know? Um, I really honestly started like getting to that conclusion because th this woman, him, his mother was even talking of things that date all the way back to like my mother's funeral passed away in 2013. So it was like, yo guys, it was really just so confusing. My helper that I had that time, go, go, go Friday. Um, she honestly was just an angel guys. I won't lie. So when I was busy yelling and shouting and whatever, I tell her that, you know what? I'm not going to this stupid debate. <laughs> <laughs> anymore i'm not and you know obviously she was older than me she advised me she was like hey you know i i mean you're already saying that when you're making a decision that you're going to leave because my helper knew um and uh, you're saying that you're going to leave maybe just go and you know let this be your goodbye to your marriage that's literally what she said and i was like actually it does make sense you know let me um take this opportunity and just tell myself to say you know what everything that i had with this man for like nine years um this is where it ends and i need this goodbye and so Honestly, at that time, like when we were busy fighting, we did then make a decision because I was like, we're not going, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to go waste money, whatever. And then um, he also now was like, you know, yeah, okay. And then he came back from work. We sat down. Yo, did we not have round two? <laughs> Yo, guys, I needed answers. This was the day before, right? Yo, guys, I really, really needed answers. Hey, I needed, I needed answers. Um, and obviously like, you know, he couldn't answer, like he really honestly couldn't. Um, and so he kept on saying, no, his mom was just lying. You know, he never said this. He never said that. And I'm like, but how did your mother get to know about this and that and that and that? Because even he didn't know that I had the audio, right? He only knew about the audio like at that time. And then that's when we actually ended up deciding, okay, you know what, let's go. Which is why we ended up going late because we had canceled. I had canceled it and then we ended up going late. And so we arrived, um, got to been like late, you know, um, like right as like our anniversary was going to be the, the following day. Like, well, I think we arrived around 11 or 12. So like almost like we arrived like on our anniversary, right? Shabu. Um, so when I was sitting there, that was like later during the day, like that was like at night. Um, we had even, you know, we had gone out, we had swam, we had gone out to dinner. And then that was when we were actually just getting back to the hotel. So when we were sitting guys, I was like, I actually really wanted to have like a video. Um, I did not know it was going to be our last video. Him and I, we had actually had an agreement that we're going to sit down and we're going to film a video and explain to everyone to say, this is what happened. And of course he knew that I wanted him to say I cheated, you know, like I wanted us to talk about it to say, okay, he cheated. And unfortunately the marriage is over. I literally guys thought at that time I knew that I was leaving. Yes, I already knew that I was getting a divorce from this man, but I, I had not told him yet. And again, as I'm saying, guys, like I'm someone that will survive. That's one thing about me. I will survive. If you do me wrong, do not trust me. Like I'm just saying to you right now, if you know that you've done me so wrong, do not trust me. Shame. The best bet is just turn your back and walk away from me because trust and believe i will get you <laughs> no like there's a part of me that just one way or another will definitely get you shame i don't want to lie so rather just you know if you know that you deliberately did me dirty just 
stay away from me then you know you are fine uh, out of mind out of barking out of sight out of mind but if you are around me i'm gonna get to you chef so at that point i had already like after i listened to the audio i had made peace i was like this man hates me it's over but obviously i knew that you know i was now in a process where i was already starting to save money i'd already started making plans man um even though my heart was still painful but you know june i had already bought my car that i knew that i'm gonna live with um and then after that you know i'd already like i was making uh, uh, plans i had already asked him to say i want my card back you know i wanna manage my own finances everyone should manage their own finances and of course i had to find a sneaky way to do it because i did not want to give away um i am not someone that was born in friday so i wasn't like comfortable or say felt safe especially because they'd broken in like where i would stay there by myself and i knew that i was not ready for the um relocation to move to how thing and again i had fibroids that need to needed to be removed and so there was a lot that was going on that i had to consider and i was like you know what the best thing that i can actually do here it's just to pretend like everything is fine, you know. Um, and so yeah, that's exactly what I did. Um, it wasn't really difficult. I, I, I was someone that yes, I was a very clingy wife. Um, I really loved him, you know. And so I just, I don't know, man. Like I was comfortable around him, even though he did hurt me a lot. Um, and so that's exactly what I did. What you guys saw on that video was just a snip, right? Um, but we were not fighting like the whole time we went to Durban, we did not fight because i did not bring anything up anymore you know i think that sometimes men do not understand that the moment a woman stops fighting you have lost her like for good you've lost <laughs> you have lost her like you still stand a chance when a woman is still fighting you but the moment that she goes completely quiet just know that like a decision has been made and <laughs> jew is not part of the future honey so whatever it is that you choose to do is none of my business you know and so i really honestly didn't ask anything anymore i knew that he's never gonna tell me the truth you know on in terms of like what did he tell his mom and what did he not um and so what actually ended up happening was that we had the best time shame that visit um got Durban, you know so by the time that we actually came back he also like was at a point where he thought that oh wow you know things are actually getting to be fine but when we came back i i, I now just focused directly on my work i i just honestly was just living my life guys and i am not even going to lie at that time when you guys were watching that video i was in connection like or rather say i was in communication with someone that is a man okay <laughs> that time when you guys see me rubbing his ears and whatever it was the first time that i was actually like entertaining a guy even though it was still over the phone um and so you know even when we were in durban that time i guess you know there are certain things that i had to find out through the internet like Ukutibegang liar. if he finds this out then he's also gonna find out through the internet but the whole time that we were in durban in that trip i was literally texting with this guy <laughs> my mood was so high because this guy that i was talking to like he was doing the things you know like it was i felt like in months you know of where i was just so much in pain where where i would actually say that you know someone was giving me attention and the attention that i needed so the whole trip guys like it was so nice for me because i was secretly texting and my ex-husband was right there you know and so I think that was when I started to just feel like there, there was a part of satisfaction for me um, that was like, oh, you know, he has been doing stuff behind my back. He has been so sneaky and everything. I like now have something that I'm doing behind his back and it's nice. And I was like, listen, my nigga, if you is going to cheat, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it the right way. Okay. Because he never found out about my gender. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to continue when it comes to that, but I'm just simply saying that um, at that time, yes, I had already made a decision that I am going to leave. And yes, I was still pretending. I had already told myself that, you know what, this marriage is over. So I started opening myself. Now, is this advice that I would advise if you are with someone that is violent? Absolutely not. I think if you're with a violent partner, please don't even try it. Because the moment a man cheats and you find out, he starts being suspicious 
So if you are with someone that is going to take your phone and go through and then find stuff, you know, they, they, they might hurt you. But me not like the moment he cheated, I was like, you know, and at that time, funny enough, um, cause I saw some of the comments, some people were saying, Oh, he's so disinterested. Yes, he definitely was. That's why we didn't even vlog because in my mind, I knew anyway, this is a goodbye trip. Um, but I had already now started having my card. And so I guess that he felt like, sorry if he was to actually um have like what can i say like if he was to actually have um you know any part of my channel like that's making money for me you know and so i had to force him i begged him i'm like oh you know it would be nice let's do something for anniversary let's have a video you know this and that and so we did yes we were all very tired shame because we're just driven like the night before and then we were swimming almost the whole day guys the ocean now you in jayakatas and then we went to dinner as i said and so that was already late at night you know so yeah he was tired but there's also an aspect or an element for him that did not want to right the other part again that i saw that was like the talk of were you guys intimate yes guys you cannot pretend uh, and not have it you know when we were there in durban yes like i would say it happened a lot i think what it was also just because i was now like at a point where i was really starting to be happy because the the person that i was talking to like as i said he was doing the things but um when it came to him it was that thing also where i was like this is goodbye you know so we're on vacation like for the last time but throughout the time that you know we were home and stuff no um we were not that intimate and i'll tell you why the moment i found out that he was cheating i went and bought boxes of condoms and i put them there and i was like hey if you want anything from me you better use that protection and he did not want to use protection so we would definitely go like weeks and weeks without doing anything you know um, how did I feel about it? Yo, oh, guys, I won't lie. That that aspect was not easy. It was definitely not easy at all. Um, I would honestly say that, like, any time that I had to sleep with him, when we were not, like, in the trip. On the trip, I won't lie. Like, I don't know if it was also because I was now starting to get to a better place. But on the trip, that was fine. But when we were home, oh, man, it would feel like I'm being sexually assaulted. I won't lie, guys. Like, true talk. You guys know how we are as women. We... And I think in my case, I've never had to sleep with a man for money, you know. I know there are women that are able to, like, maybe sleep with a guy even though they don't have that emotional connection. But because they need Imali, they're able to do that. I've never ever had to do that. Anyone that I've ever been with is because I wanted to be with this person, you know. So, and again, remember guys, like, it had been how many years? Nine years since I, I was only just with him. So... Yeah, it was really just, uh, it was a very different thing because it, it, it definitely felt like I was sleeping with a different man that I hated, you know, but to keep him in the house and obviously play house, <laughs> that was part of something that had to happen. I remember I think about it. Um, but it didn't happen often. And so that part I'm really happy f of, like sometimes it would go three full weeks, almost a month, like nothing, you know? So at least, you know, but yeah, uh, I, I won't lie guys. It was happening. Cha, I don't know. And I think about that nightmare. How did I do it? Um, I think that, you know, guys, survival will make you do things that even you, when you look back, you're going to be like, what? Looking back now, I'm like shocked at the level <laughs> and the length that I actually had to go through. Um, like, I'm really honestly shocked. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, there's a part of me that is like, girl, did you really do that? But I obviously did um, survival. <sighs> At that time, I... Yo, guys, like, it was really just tough, hey? Yo, it was really tough. I don't think I've ever felt that weak in my whole life. I've never felt that weak in my adult life. I felt... The only time that I felt like that was when my mother passed. Like, that's how deep... Um, this whole thing actually literally did um hit me. And I think that um 
looking at the fact that you know there was just so many things that happened um and i i kept on finding things out like oh this is what he's doing this is what he's doing he was now scheming with snakey they would have their private meetings outside you know um and their common ground was basically me like i'm a horrible person and at night you would still go to bed with me i'd still lay on your chest you know so there was also an element of me that really started to get a bit scared of him because i felt like i don't know who this guy is i think that at that time i started to just look at him like oh my gosh i think i was married to a psycho for years like how did i not even see and so the moment that your eyes start opening i feel like you start to realize more and more things that you were not realizing before so that was also like very difficult having to process all that and at the same time also have to look at this guy you know he comes home every day he sleeps on the same bed every night you know um and we would i would still sleep on his chest you know the same way that we used to sleep that's how we would sleep it's just that the sex uh part of it was like very limited but it was yo guys it was a very lonely time um up until september for me you know and then after that when we came back from the trip um that was when i actually uh yeah you know i think it was october if i'm not to mistake again september october i think i did sit him down and i was like listen i'm really struggling so i can't do it anymore like um you know can we start planning you know um i really honestly did believe that him and i could still be friends or brother and sister relationship sort of um when i asked at first i didn't just straight ask for like a divorce i did say that you know we're gonna have to divorce um so that even when we marry we remarry we can remarry out of community and obviously i was just showing him to say oh you know because of my job this and this so i literally wanted to sneakingly divorce him <laughs> like he signs and then i'm like we're gonna go remarry and then i'm like nope i'm not doing that you know that was honestly the plan but obviously my plans failed <laughs> um but i did sit down and i told him to say you know what i um with everything that happened i'm really struggling so i'm gonna have the operation and then after the operation i'm gonna relocate to joburg but we're still going to keep contact, you know, let's date. Like, that's what I said. We could, you know, let's get a divorce. Let me relocate. And then let's date. Like, we just date as boyfriend and girlfriend and see how, you know, the relationship is going to be. Did I think that I was going to date him? No. Of course, I was lying. Guys, I was just pulling things <laughs> anywhere that I could. Um, No, I knew that, like, the divorce gets finalized and I'm out of here, you know um the fact that when i found out that he was cheating there was also a message that i saw and he was talking to a school child and he was saying that um he, he doesn't want to use a condom he's like oh i trust you don't you trust me i was like this dumb <laughs> let me not say that i like for me it was like wow this is really stupid number one number two i was one of my worst fears was that he's gonna impregnate a girl and then somehow i'm gonna be sued for support and i'm gonna have to maintain a child that is not even mine like i knew that was literally going to make me close my youtube channel open a new one and be it have it under my sister's name it would have just been too much admin but i would have definitely made sure that i quit shame because <laughs> you know so that's why i really wanted to make sure that the divorce was gonna finalize and i was trying to sneakingly divorce him but my plans just did not go sorry accordingly right so after I told him that, you know, um, I asked him to move out of the bedroom. Um, and so I was like, you know, this is going to be fun in terms of, you know, we're going to be dating almost. Guys, when I tell you that I was trying everything. <laughs> and then that's when we separated. Like he was now sleeping in the guest room and I was sleeping in the main bedroom. Um, and I was like, obviously, you have to take the guest room because you're the one that cheated, you know. At this point, I had my car. I was not allowing him to touch my car. I'm like, you drive the car that you cheated in. Um, I was no longer like cooking, guys. That's one aspect. I think we're even till today. I don't cook much. But whenever I cook, my food is very nice. But I wouldn't cook honestly for him anymore. He ate a lot of bread, Shem. And then now I also started like coming back home late, you know. Um, I'm like, no, nobody asks anybody anything, you know. And so... 
after that, that was when I would say I started to see him like literally realize that crap, like he lost me. Um, and he started like really sincerely apologizing. In the beginning, he was apologizing, but he was not sincere, you know. And then after that, like after like everything had gone down, he was now starting to like apologize. Like, I'm sorry. And I could see that he really is apologizing, Shem, but I'd already checked out of the marriage, you know. Um, But at the same time, I didn't hate him. I still don't. Honestly, I don't think that they say... I'm able, I, I could be able to hate him. Um, I did love him a lot. I just feel nothing for him right now. I, I feel neither love or hate. I don't. He does piss me off sometimes, but not hate. Definitely not. Um, and so, yeah, honestly, to the ninja that I was asking how I did it, you could see in the video. Um, also, getting somebody on the side, that helped a lot, you know. <laughs> um but also just looking at the bigger picture you know looking at the bigger picture also literally helped and due to the fact that you know i was working so much you guys remember like it was four videos every day monday to friday there would not be a single excuse so i was making a lot of money um and also that was when i got chosen for like you know the the black voices fan because I was uploading guys like a, a crazy person. So I did bury my head in work, which ended up like helping me so much. Um, and I was very conscious with everything. So I wouldn't trust him. I do remember like when we got the, the funds from YouTube, we did sign NDAs. And so I just, you know, <sighs> I, I did so good, guys, by not saying anything to this guy. So he didn't even know that I'm about to receive a lot of money. He didn't even know how much or anything. He didn't know that I'm about to receive money at all even. And so, you know, he was like, um, I, I didn't tell him. So I really honestly saved myself because the way he is, he would have definitely told my dot um, how much and it would have been up on YouTube. And now I would have been in breach of contract. Um, so... The advice I'd give is that make sure that, you know, you treat this person as not your husband, even though you are pretending because uh, they are, they, yeah, they get spiteful, you know? So yeah, basically that is that guys. Honestly, it was a struggle. I had to deal with the emotional aspect of it. I also did use him in terms of like healing because, um, like having him not be in the house was honestly just a lot, which is why I kept on going to fetch him. And I think that he thought that at first, maybe he thought, oh, she just loves me so much. She can't like stand life without me because not this nigga coming back and saying the condition I have is that you quit YouTube. I said, no. <laughs> um, but after that, the second time he kept on saying, are you sure you're not just bringing me back because you want to to heal and then leave me are you sure like so in at the back of his mind i'm sure he had something and i kept on saying baby you know how much i love you never you know <laughs> but i knew i definitely knew at that point i just i i didn't care about his feelings you know i cared about my feelings i was like you're the one that got us into this situation and so if i have to use you i will definitely use you i definitely disconnected guys i won't lie i feel like there was an aspect of me where my 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 consciousness disconnected from my body and the reason for that was because if i had to be sleeping with this man that i literally was despising i could not emotionally be there so anytime they did was happening my mind had to wander elsewhere and i just closed my eyes and i'm like god please make this finish fast <laughs> because i can't you know um but yeah no it was i know i i laugh now but it it was not easy it was not easy you have to be a warrior you can't you can't be a weakling and that's why when i watched that video i look at that girl and i remember like the pain and everything that i had just gone through i did not have the strength that i have now because now i've had to fight even bigger battles you know so you you cannot be a divorcee and not be a champion i'm telling you you know i've not met one anyway because getting a divorce is a process that is very difficult you know even though for me i had thought that you know we could continue maybe being friends or we could continue just like be like a brother and sister sort of because i was like you are the one that cheated on me and i'm saying i'm fine like you don't have a right 
a, a reason to be like, oh, you know, you're mad. Mad at what? Because you're the one that betrayed me. So if I'm the one that was betrayed and I'm saying, hey, let's have peace, you know. And even with the divorce, I never tried to spite him. I didn't take his pension fund because I knew I was making way more than him. I, I left him a car. I left him land. I left him everything, you know. Um, and so I guess that that's just people that are not grateful because if it was a matter of, I was just someone that was spiteful, I could have easily gone out there and literally like, you know, said I wanted the pension fund. I want the land to be sold and I want half of it and whatever. And I was like, look, anything that's under your name, take it, keep it. That's fine. I'll keep what's under my name, which was my car, my Kiaserato. And God has been really great guys. Like God has been so um great in terms of like blessings and blessings you guys know i left december like the first morning the first of of january was the getting i slept in 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 Gauteng the last day of december of 2020 so when i woke up it was like the new year i really didn't want to start my new year go free day. so made sure that i'm packing everything i had already had my operation so my things had definitely and that's when i was like you know what it's time to actually bounce so you just need to make sure that obviously you plan i know that for some of you guys the situations are different you even have kids um and honestly i cannot advise when it comes to that because uh, like the custody for kids was not a thing even though we do have Every, but legally he had no claims on him which thank god for that um but other than that guys that is it um as i'm saying you just gotta be in Bogoto, um and you are gonna have to become someone that you're not you know in order to to thrive you have to bring out the beast in you the last advice that i'd give is that when you're going to through a divorce when you're about to go to, through a divorce please throw away the mind that you have of your partner it, it, it's war and you need to deal with it as war because if you do not you're gonna face so many disappointments i won't lie and i actually did i was so surprised like this guy kept on blocking me when i was trying to contact him for us to do a divorce like i'm like how are you gonna sit there and you like how we got you know look yo guys it was so difficult to a point where i had to even say that i'm gonna go to the school and tell the principal <laughs> that you you're actually proposing school kids and whatever and that was when things started um basically moving so in terms of like how to deal and whatever you do your best obviously you'll have good days you'll have bad days those that you cry those that you, anger comes you know this and that because remember you're dealing with all these emotions and this person is right here and so i usually would just really get angry i remember he would be sitting watching tv and he's laughing and guys i'd be so pissed like why the hell are you laughing you don't deserve to laugh <laughs> yeah he would bore me even his laughter was just boring me now i was realizing damn this guy speaks so slow you know like yo a lot of things were basically happening which sucks um and i think with that aspect of staying and actually getting to see the person for who they are and not this person that you imagine you know um and you fall in love with it actually helps you because you look at it and you're like nah you know this is not it um to answer maybe the last question do i miss him a thousand percent no would i want to be friends with him now or like have that brother and sister relationship no i do think that he needs help though and this is on a serious note i'm not even trying to clock him um just because looking at everything that happened and the stuff that he used to tell his mom and the stuff he used to tell me about his mother he's someone that actually enjoys to dwell in pity for people to feel sorry for him for people to look at him as a victim he has this victim mentality but he, it's an obsession for him so he will lie and manipulate just so that people will feel sorry for him the same way that when i found out that he was cheating on me he went out and actually said i cheated on him and then i, I he said i told him he doesn't satisfy me in bed and ah oh, sorry guys my memory card got full but and so i lost my train of thought but i think that just some of the pointers that i would give is that if you are at that position and um you know you when it comes to the intimate part you obviously will have to do it so i would advise to say that you can do what i did where you say that you're going to buy condoms which i know it's not a lot of men that would actually agree to that um so if you're a woman i would advise go get prep you know you can talk to him to say hey right now i'm just not 
okay i mean obviously when you find out that your man is cheating um or your partner is cheating there's fights right so um you know you can talk to say hey maybe for now for this month we use protection i'm gonna be on prep i don't trust you which rightfully so sorry and then obviously you get on prep because the aim is also not to get out sick you know um and so yeah if you're someone that is unemployed and you know your husband is abusing you or you're at a point where you feel like you want to leave but he's not physically abusive to be honest with you i would say start planning your exit whilst you're still there like don't just leave because where are you going to go <clears throat> You know, if you don't have a job, if a Jew is not working, then it means that it's time that you actually start to stand up. If you've been applying and you're not getting a job, start a small business, start anything. You know, if it has to do with selling Zimbas at first, sell Zimbas. Trust and believe business opportunities will come along the way. You get it? So, um, honestly, guys, life is not as easy. I won't lie. Life is not as easy. Um, people are not as kind especially when you are at a position where you are going through a lot i think that if there's anything that you guys have seen especially with what happened on the internet is that there are certain people that are such weaklings that they wait for you for the moment you're down to actually literally try and finish you like <laughs> you know and when you do it with god's grace obviously they all failed decimally um but this is what happens even in real life you know the moment that you're down and out that is when people find an opportunity to try and just you know put you down even more so i wouldn't advise you to just say oh i'm picking my bags i'm leaving and this is the other part again that i'm saying Uri. as a woman you need to be someone that is also like mentally strong you know you should not use your emotions when it comes to everything i do have a bit of an advantage in terms of i was raised by a, like a soldier you know, <laughs> my father made sure, you know, there are many life lessons that I have learned because of that pain. Um, and so if I have to find myself in a place where I have to survive, it's not many people that would survive with me. Do you get it? Like, I know literally how to put my feelings aside. I can love you and never talk to you for the rest of my life. Like, I'm someone that is that mentally strong to a point where... I am able to like think past my feelings. That's me. I will always do what's best for me. So when I was busy doing this and playing him up and down, I was really super comfortable, Shem, I won't lie. And I would like to just say to my ex-husband, do you remember, darling? <laughs> Those nights I would come home very late and you'd ask and I would say, oh, I was here, I was, I was lying, Shem. <laughs> Benji, come bambanga. I was lying. If it was a cheating competition, you cannot win it with me. So when you try to be faithful to someone who you know, like, you know, like, don't do it. So the same way that I found out through the internal guti begang lie, now I might find out guti how shame. Now me, I was also, you know, like, you're not gonna just play me and sit back. Who am I? Dumb copy You can only dumb copy me once, not many times, you know. So, yeah, I did have a support system, someone that was supporting me. <laughs> so, that's all I have to say. You need to just do what is going to work for you, and that is fine. I think when it comes to this topic, there's gonna be a lot of questions. Maybe there'll be a video separate where I can just tell you guys, like, okay, this is what happened, how, and everything. But, um i know that it's such a painful place to be i only started to feel some sort of relief when i started talking to someone that's honestly the truth like yo before guys i was always constantly just in pain and this guy was just adding more and more and as much as i'm like you know what my time will come where i am fine where i'll be able my things will have come together and i'll move you know but it was like it's not coming soon enough you know but the moment that i now had started having someone that was like you know emotionally supportive and everything um yeah things became a lot easier i had someone that i would vent to you know um the same way that night when he was busy cheating on me 
<laughs> you would talk about me. Those times you would call when I'm out and I don't pick up your call. <laughs> would look at the phone call and laugh, you know? That's honestly me. But I would still go home to him and pretend like everything is fine, you know? And before people are going to be like, oh, I mean, I was cheating, whatever. No, I had, he may not actually go to a point where I agreed to be in an open marriage. Um, but then I think when he agreed to it, he was like thinking, oh, you know, I'm just so in love with him that I can't do it. So he's saying, okay, because it's going to be an opportunity for him. And then I ended up saying, no, I was just joking. I wanted to see what you were going to say. But guess what? I wasn't joking, you know. But basically, that's it. That's the story time for another day. But all I just have to say is that find a way that is going to work for you. But if the person is physically abusive, I would advise pack your bags and leave. At least you are alive. But if the person is not physically abusive, I would really honestly advise sit down and start planning your exit properly. You know, um put and get your money right you know moving is expensive um and you know yeah there's a lot of other costs that will come i didn't expect to pay the thousands that i paid for in lawyer fees for the divorce and everything it was a lot of money and on top of that um you know getting an apartment you know moving and stuff so i really had proper money when i moved and that's one thing that honestly helped me because i did plan my exit um so yeah just be someone that actually plans Think like a man if you're a woman. Think like a man. One thing about men that I've realized, smart men especially, is that they do not use their emotions. They actually use their mind and they use their brains, you know. So, um, do that. That's the only way that you can beat them. Like, beat them at their own game. You need to be someone that is able to think past your emotions, you know. If you're... Too much of an emotional person, I'm telling you, this battle will be way too much for you. Rather just pack your bags and go suffer because how are you going to do it? You know, because at the end of the day, you need to get to a point where you understand because they did come a point where he's, he was now doing everything right. Like the time that he saw that I was like checked out, he was doing everything right, guys. Like the old ex-husband of mine that I knew was back. Um, you know, I, at that point, you know, there were no going out anymore, no this, no that. He would always want to be home because remember now he sees Rina, I'm always, you know, so he wants to track my, like it was almost like he, he turned around and now he was a bit obsessed with my movements, even though I told him, no, I was lying. You know, I was just pretending because I wanted to see what you were, I was not lying. I was not pretending, <laughs> you know, but I do have to just say that, yeah, for me, when it comes to this whole situation, as I'm saying, you just need to be smart. You just need to use your brain. Like, it's a survival thing. You need to play the game. If you don't play the game, then you lose, you know. Um, and honestly, that is it. Um, learn to choose yourself if someone is choosing themselves. A man that cheats on you is not a man that is like in love with you you know as much as he loves you yes but he's not in love with you to a point where he can put you before his feelings in terms of like going out there and just sleeping with anybody you know um so yeah honestly you just need to be strong protect yourself um and again the other part i was saying to say you need to be mentally strong is to say that since this person was now doing everything right I, if I was someone that was like, oh, let me use my emotions and think about this, then I might have actually said, oh, you know, let me forgive him because he has changed. Let me do this. Let me do that. But if you guys saw the moment that I left, what did you do? Went online to try to destroy me. Was a really changed man? No. He even said it that he began liar. Like he was basically punishing me. For what? I do not know. So it means that the punishment would not have stopped. Had it been that I chose to say I'm going to stay with him. He would have changed for that time. And then the urge of him of no liar would have come back. And so he would have still gone back to do the same. So that's why I'm saying that you all need to just be very careful. And understand too. 
like the moment someone shows you who they are believe them because that's the biggest problem that as women we have you still want to see the good in someone that is showing you pudra you still want to see the good in someone that is showing you that i am not here for you i don't care about you your emotions mean nothing to me i am everything to me and they put themselves first and you still want to put them first that's where you buy that thing so um no i'm telling you and if anything the time that i was now starting to come back late yo i saw a huge 360 change from this guy every time now when i get home he's already home it wasn't like before and remember we had two cars so he could still also go out and do his own things but because he was now his attention was now on me he was actually home. I remember this other night I came back and he was asking me, hey, what, what, who are you with? I was like, with my boyfriend. Well, like, yo, guys, actually, we don't talk too much. But yeah, I really did put him through some stuff, eh? I won't lie. But that was because of he put me through a lot. He put me through a lot, Shem, you know? So yeah, I was definitely going to get my own back, you know? I, I really honestly did, Shem. I won't lie. So... You just have to do what makes you happy, you know. You have to do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, even if you are uh, to say I'm gonna take or oh, I miss system anyway, now you're not strong enough to can actually say that um you are gonna like maybe sit and and stay. You're not strong enough for that, then leave. But if you feel like you are. Um, then do it. Trust and believe bit by bit. Dear touch from this man emotionally. Start being independent. Start imagining your life without this person. How would it be? So now you get to that stage where if let's say the bin is there, you don't wait for him to come take the bin out. You take the bin out. Because when you move, you're going to be taking the bin out, right? You start basically being single whilst you're still in marriage which is why i'm saying that if you're a man and your woman used to fight you when you were coming home late she used to say oh why are you not taking the bin out and whatever but you get to a stage where when you come she doesn't ask you where were you she doesn't ask any questions she doesn't say oh why are you not taking the bin why are you not doing this and that you have already lost her you know so that's what you actually do you start living a single life whilst you're with him that was when i also now started to just i would drive to secunda by myself um i would drive to standerton by myself i would drive to newcastle by myself because i was like i'm about to be single so i need to start getting used to these things you know like that i'm gonna be alone because remember at that time i never used to even go do my nails alone he would always be the one that drove me like we were that close you know so sorry for me i think we're like literally that is um that is that um whatever works for you is something that will work for you the other thing again i, I guess that i can also say is that there is no bigger pain and lesser pain. That's one thing I can tell you. No, Owami is not like, wow, she's so strong. She doesn't feel the pain. No, we all feel the pain. We all feel the same pain, I'm telling you. The difference is that how do we deal with the pains, you know? Some people choose to dwell in the pain and be the victim and the pain keeps on happening over and over and over again towards them and then there are some of us that are like fighters i'm like jew is not doing that to me shibobo jew is not you know i am going to leave and that's exactly what I'm, I, I did and the other part again that i'll go ahead and say is that do not leave your men to punish him if your main aim is to say i'm punishing him just don't leave because you're gonna end up going back you know um when you have that feeling of peace where you're like, I'm at peace, I'm living for me, that's when you know you've reached the stage to can walk away. But to say, I'm going to leave, I'm going to punish him, I'm gonna, you're going to go back, because at the end of the day, you can punish someone for three months or four months, like it's like, okay, the punishment is enough. Then you go back. But if it's for you, because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm living, I'm at peace, me, I'm telling you, like, you won't even have the urge to go back. Some of you guys ask me, like, do I miss him? I think I've addressed this. Absolutely not, guys. I really honestly do not miss him whatsoever. And I think, what, like, that is uh, one of the things that I got very surprised at in terms of my fear was that, that, you know, I'm going to relocate and I'm going to miss him because I was with him for so many years and I had such a strong connection towards him. But I don't know if it's just a matter of God or if it's a matter of all the things that he did, honestly did put me out, like completely far away, you know, um, because there was a lot that literally happened. So I really honestly do not miss him whatsoever. 
I am super grateful that I didn't have a child with that man, honestly. And I think the other thing again that I can say right now is this to say, um, it's almost three years now that, you know, obviously we've been separated and divorced, you know, the divorce finalized last year, but let me say separated because like we separated uh, December of 2020. It's almost three years now, and um, I know that right now, like, he's with a new partner. That's what I've heard through the YouTube streets. I'll be honest with you guys, like, I'm really, really happy for him. I think that he has finally gotten someone that compliments him and someone that, you know, he he's aligned with. The same way that I feel I'm also in my path towards that you know um he's not someone that is an ambitious person he's not some he's very much content with not much you know and i think that um looking back i do feel like i just had too, way too big of dreams that even he was just like this is exhausting for me and i think that like if anything I do wish him the best. I'm not even going to lie. Will I still do story times? Yes, because those are my experiences and we can learn from them. And besides, man, like I've gone through a lot. Why not literally tell my story? But I do not have any bad or ill intentions towards him. That is why even with the defamation case, I'm suing the channel and not him because I don't I just want him to, you know, be happy. Let him be happy over there. And that is fine for me. Um, But yeah, I think we're like, if it was a matter of I wasn't fully healed, it would have been something that maybe could have been hurtful. Like, oh, he moved on, this and that. No, I'm really honestly happy for him. Even if I can hear, or, oh, you know, they now have kids. They are living, even if it's in a mansion or whatever, I would not have any feelings towards that, like, or, or any bad feelings towards that. And that's honestly just the truth, you know? Um, And so, yeah, I'm really just at, at a place where I'm at peace with everything. I'm grateful for everything, even though, you know, pain is pain and you forget about the pain. Like, I can remember, oh, I was in so much pain. But if I was like, oh, let me take that pain, I can't because, you know, it's gone. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but I did honestly learn a lot, especially throughout that period. I really did. I had to survive. I felt so weak. I blamed myself like a billion times. I was like, how did you allow yourself fall in love to this extent? What this and this guys, if I, if only there was like a measure that could actually come with a bucket. I'm definitely sure that I cried like the 20 buckets. It's a 20. Like, I'm sure a tank, like, bonnet, wherever they say there's drought, if they could just take my tears and collect them, I'm sure that they could just, you know, a whole village would have water for months, you know? That's how much I literally cried. Um, Of course, I was not showing that online. And of course, I decided that I was going to avoid and just, you know, put out my videos. So I was like a shark at that time, you know? I'm, I'm just putting, pumping out content like that. But yeah, no, it was really honestly not easy. I'm not even going to lie. And so I'm saying this to say, don't ever sit down and feel like, oh, am I just so much of a weakling? Because I felt that way. People just do not show us their pain, but people go through it. So it's very normal, you know, for you to can be in that much pain. Um, and it's very normal to be scared of the future, what's going to happen. As long as you're someone that works hard, as long as you're someone that has a plan, as long as you're someone that's going to plan and, and stick to your plan to say, this is what I'm going to do, this and that and that. And then I'm someone that is also very good in terms of like having a backup plan to a backup plan. That's something that I usually do. You know, have a backup plan to a backup plan because if the backup plan, if the plan fails and the backup plan fails, at least there's a backup to a backup, you know? So there, there was a lot of things like when I was moving, I could have chosen to go home. At that time, my father actually said, no, come home, you know, because there was stuff that happened and he was like, what? come home, they're going to kill you. So, um, I could have gone home or I could have even gone to my aunt if I wanted. Um, but obviously I opted that I wanted to actually just have my own place and have my own space. Um, and for me, thank goodness I bought my SUV. So 
it it was like it it was easier you know in terms of i wasn't in anyone's space so no one was seeing me crying and going through everything that i went through because when i left i really went through a lot and i think i was also very emotional because i'd just gotten like the operation so i wasn't like fully able to actually do the things that i needed to do my sisters are just god's angels like i love those kids so much they supported me through and through and i remember when they had to go home and it was the first time that i had to be by myself i did not know what to do with myself guys like i did not know if there's one person i can thank forever is my bestie label obviously because like literally that girl like sacrificed everything she would always be by my house she would always make sure that she's coming if she calls and i'm down or i start crying that girl was driving and she's there by my house so you know god always made sure that there were people because at that time i mean Lebo was a stranger you know but she became family and so i feel like god will always make sure that he's bringing people into your life and also maki i should not forget you guys remember maki right like he would always be by my place he would always make sure like umaki nje maki if you're watching this video hey i know you have a, a girlfriend now but but yeah i said maki chef guys i will send him a whatsapp message like bro can we meet up even if it's for lunch or whatever no i'll call you back i'll call and he won't i know he's in a relationship now and so i also just stopped trying to make the effort but like that guy really honestly helped me so much um I, he wouldn't even allow me carry a plastic up the stairs because of the operation like he would make sure that he's constantly the one that is picking everything like if there's anything that is needed i call him at whatever time like he was there like he really honestly just you know is one of those people that i'll forever ever ever be grateful to i remember even when i had to go to free state to fetch my stuff maki was also there and he's the one that even went to venda with the driver like that's how much god makes sure that you know i had a community of people that literally were there for me and so i do believe that if god did it for me he will also do it for you i'm not someone that is saying leave your marriage if you don't want to and if your man cheats on you and you decide to stay that's okay if that's what you want for yourself i think that is very important that um you know for me after everything that i went through i got to understand to say that if someone does not want to leave you don't have to force that person you know if they are being beaten that's when you you do need to step up especially if you're like very close to them if it's physical because then unfortunately it can end up having them dead sooner than later but if not honestly and when you want to stay with your machizo that's also okay you know you are not forced to say you have to leave now i'm not saying go around walking the streets and praising hey now never leave even if it cheats i feel like you know but at the end of the day like i do believe that you know if that's what you want to do then that's what you are actually going to do but if you're someone that feels that you are not coping you want to leave that is also okay living is also an option and i remember at that time for me it was very difficult and confusing because everyone around me kept on saying that ah you know all men do like this you know everybody was like just it was like everyone is like it this is small thing like yo guys i've never been so confused my whole life and this was when like i was going to people that i felt you know their marriages were strong to actually say hey please advise me this happened and that's when they were starting to tell me oh you know no my husband did this huh no my husband did that ah when i give my money well and i was just like i honestly was failing guys i honestly was failing i was like i can't do it like then what's next what's supposed to happen because i'm not doing it um and so that's what i'm saying to say if you are someone that is also unable to do it you have that right to walk away okay walk away get a divorce and keep it moving um what could i have done different maybe in closing i know the video is very long um i wish i knew the future then i wouldn't have been so um scared and so emotional because i was very emotional yet where i am now even if you were to say that okay let's remove the cheating go back to your marriage i wouldn't go back do you understand even if let's say they were to turn back time and we go to february or march because i found out april 
or March and they're like, okay, go to March and be with your, with your husband, um, or be, you live the life you're living now. I'll choose this life a thousand percent, you know? So I, I think would like, yeah, the biggest part for me is that I wish I trusted God more, you know, because I literally went into a point where I, 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 I think it's a story time that I'm going to talk to you guys about like, um, you know, in a, another video, but yeah, I, I just, I, I really honestly questioned God a lot. I was so angry with God. Um, and I was angry with God for many things, you know, cause I mean, there was an element of blaming myself. I was like, did this happen? Because, you know, we were now at a position where we wanted a baby and it wasn't happening. Ngapa, my ex is telling his girlfriend, would like nam barren. Yeah, guys, it was just a lot, you know? So I was angry with God in like a lot of things. Where else now, what I look at is like, I was literally crying for 10 cents and God is like, listen, honey, there's a billion out there. Like I want you to, for the billions, you know? And so I wish I trusted God more, you know, that's the first thing. The second thing, um, I wish I did not go to the people that I went to. I wish I just made the decision by myself. I feel like it would have made things a bit easier because going to the people that I was going to and everyone was telling me, no, these are men, man. This is how they are and everything. It just made me feel so weak, you know. It made me feel so weak. I was like, why is it that they are all able to stay, you know, and their men have done worse than what he has. So why am I failing to cope? Why am I failing? um to actually like you know deal with the situation so i think that if i was just by myself um i feel like it would have been honestly a lot better then i would have just made the decision and i would not have felt so so weak you know the other aspect again is that i wish i had actually played my game even better in terms of like you know pushing that you know we go and we get that divorce when i was still there i literally bite myself even till today i would have saved so much money in in, in lawyers and stress and this and this because it would have been done i think that at that time obviously after september as i said i did have a friend that you know we were talking um i was like now just in a place where i was like starting to just be happy that i literally was like you know almost fumbled my plan but um you know nonetheless at least you know the divorce ended up being finalized um, the other aspect again that I would say I wish I had done different is, um, I wish I had actually listened to my intuition more. The video that I was supposed to film with my ex saying that we were breaking up, it kept, it was on the back of my mind constantly. Like, oh, I'm film this video, film, film, film with him when we were still in the house. And somehow, I don't know, I just kept on postponing, I will film, even though like I knew that I was going to film, keep it and only put it out like January. But I didn't and it ended up not happening. I think that that video would have answered for me so much um, because obviously you guys know when he went to my dot, he was just talking crap. But if that video was there, then it means that, you know, I would have just played the video and everyone would have heard and everyone would have seen. So, yeah, that was one of the things that I wish I had actually done different. Um, would I still leave the pension fund, the car and the land for him now knowing everything that I know? Absolutely. Yes. I won't lie because, um, at the end of the day, me leaving those stuff for him, um, it was because I did not want to feel any guilt. Like I did not want to feel any guilt in terms of feeling like, oh, I took from him and I know that he's not a hustler. Um, and I was already making more than him. So it really honestly was a prayer that I made to God to say, you know, God, I'm going to leave him everything. Um, please bless me where I'm going. And God has been faithful with that. So I really have no regrets whatsoever. Um, maybe one thing that I would have done different would have definitely been that the apps I found out that it was cheating and I wanted to buy my car. What I did is I went to savings and then I bought the Kiasara to cash. And then whatever cash that was left in the, in my card, I split it evenly, like half, half. And then I took half and I sent him half. Uh, that was money he did not deserve. And again, he ended up leaving without paying the stock fails. That man is such a coward. <laughs> so I was now stuck having to pay the stock fails of money that we split evenly, you know. But I was like, you know what, Shabu, I mean, at the end of the day, 
ngi hasla mpinchi am you know and so yeah you do need to be someone that is not going to be lazy i'm not going to lie you do need to let your old self go so that the new you can come because you need to survive you know um i was looking at it and i'm like the time that i was still with my ex there was some sort of um security in terms of like you know i was like oh at least i have someone that's helping me especially with ray um but when i was going through the divorce i realized like crap like literally right now i am like supporting three kids like i'm a mother of three right now you know and ray like you know like like everything and so yeah there was a, a time that i would have a bit of a uh, panic <laughs> um and when everything was happening online i i still had to come back and work because i needed the money obviously um but there were times that i literally had to force myself you know um and i i always had to remind myself of the statement that i always say to say no matter what happens make money no matter what you're going through make money if you don't have to sleep make that shimone is 344 right now i don't know if you guys can see cuz i'm using my lens that's like very far away but i'm here you know working and so you you also have to be someone that is not going to be lazy absolutely not you know um and so yeah man i think the video was long enough i feel like i've given enough advice maybe if you guys have any questions maybe you can go ahead and ask in the comment section or i'll do a, a sort of like a q and a you guys can ask and then i can just do another q and a video where i'm answering i did ask people to ask me questions on Instagram and so yeah ninjas are actually asking I I was thinking I'm going to film it now but I realized that you know I think I have like maybe about 20 questions and some of them are like repeating because I posted it at around 12 people were sleeping so I'm going to just wait for people to wake up and I think I'll film that video maybe during the day and then it go up on my main channel so yeah ninjas I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this video um And yeah, play the game that Gaba will play it, you know. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, Bye Ninjas.